In the previous video, we uh, went through the main components in OpenIPDM interface. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, one of the uh, necessary uh, preliminary steps for pre-processing the data and also some of the uh, file structures and the folder structure of uh, OpenIPDM. So, as you've noticed earlier, the, uh, every time we have to launch uh, OpenIPDM, we have to load the database files. Now, this is a long process that actually can be avoided, as I mentioned in the uh, previous video. Now, in order to uh, kind of uh, bypass loading the files each time, what we can do is that we can go to the main interface of OpenIPDM after loading the, the data and uh, after having all the files ready, loaded, uh, we go to File and we click on Preprocess Data. Now what this will do, it will create a folder. So we see in the uh, tree, uh, directory tree here, we, we will have a new folder called Network Data. And this Network Data will contain .mat files that are filtered and are ready to be used. Now we're gonna see how this will happen. So if we go to file and pre-process data, you see that the toolbox already pre-processed all the data. And this happened quickly just because we have a small database. However, in a much larger database, it could take like a really, really long time. So as we see in the folders tree here, we have a file called uh, network uh, or folder called network data. This folder contains the uh, information about each bridge and the inspectors and some of the uh, defined filters. So now in order to test if this pre-processing have worked, what we're going to do is we're going to close open IBDM and we're going to run the software again. So we're going to right click and click run. And as you see right now, there's no a menu that asks us to load the files. The files and the list of structures and bridges have been already loaded. And as you'd notice, whenever such uh, preloaded data exists, uh, it means that uh, it's uh, always uh, uh, the ID, uh, there's a first letter of uh, B uh, in front of the ID for each uh, uh, structure ID. So just really to distinguish uh, the pre-processed data compared to the data that uh, we load manually. And again, the benefit of this is that the analysis right now would become much, much faster because like uh, we can do the uh, element uh, level analysis like uh, really uh, effectively and fast because uh, what's going on in the background is that uh, the uh, software right now is no longer uh, trying to filter the data every time it's actually relying on direct paths to the files that exist in this folder so and these are pre-filtered uh, files so this is uh, for the pre-processing step. It's pretty straightforward. Now a few things to, to be mentioned uh, about the uh, folder directory for OpenIPDM. You see there are different folders here in this uh, list. So again, network data is uh, a folder that contains the pre-processed uh, data files uh, for OpenIPDM. The folder parameters uh, is the default directory for the parameters uh, file. Now, uh, in general, OpenIPDM would rely on the folder name default model uh, parameters. So it will load such a, a file name um, uh, automatically if uh, we start with the, the pre-processed data mode. And uh, for the rest of the folders, we have uh, help, which contain the manual documentation of OpenIPDM. And we have also the uh, folder figures, which contain the .tech uh, files for any figure that the user choose uh, to extract. And uh, finally, uh, we have a uh, few other folders. Uh, so for example, extracted data. This is uh, really a folder, a supplementary folder that uh, whenever 
uh, we extract data during the training or during any step, uh, the files would be, uh, or the directory would be the extracted data uh, folder. And uh, we have uh, the two more folders, uh, the scripts. So the scripts folder uh, it contain all the scripts that runs in the background for the main interface of OpenIPDM. So this interface runs on the uh, script files that are written here. So we have uh, two folders, deterioration analysis and load. The deterioration analysis contain all the uh, deterioration model characteristics involved in the analysis being displayed in OpenIPDM. So these uh, are the uh, results. As for the load contains all the uh, load uh, files uh, parameters. And uh, finally, the folder tools contain all the toolboxes that are accessible in Open uh, IPDM. So these toolboxes are in general, uh, can be accessed in the menu bar of Open IPDM and uh, including like uh, we have tools uh, which include uh, read real data uh, model training network model training generic and so on and for the analysis we have the post uh, model training uh, uh, step which is like the uh, validation for real data and verification for synthetic data so these are really the uh, main components uh, of uh, uh, open uh, IPDM.